Hey, it's OC Food Diva again. We're back in the test kitchen and we're reviewing another cookbook. It's French this time. I'm so excited and yet so nervous because I've never really cooked French food. But uh, this is Plat Du Jour by Susan Herman Lewis. I love this lady and she makes really great recipes and cookbooks. Um, first time I met her was at Melissa's Produce. Uh, she had another cookbook for that. Um, and now she's got her second one out. Um, and this is French dis Dinners Made Easy. So what I'm going to do, uh, the family picked out three cook or uh, recipes to cook. And um, the first one we're doing is a bouillabaisse which I love to eat and never made. So um, this includes a recipe of how to make a fish stock. Okay, so you purists out there um, about fish stock. I know that you're supposed to make it with a white fish, but I went to the market today and none of the white fish looked very um, fresh or I don't know. It just didn't look good to me. We like salmon, and I know you're not supposed to use oily fish for soup stock, but I did buy um, salmon bones to do the fish stock with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it and uh, let it cool, and then I'm going to um, filter it through um, some coffee filters to kind of get rid of the, the uh, fat. Um, uh, what do you want to call them? The fat globules that happen when you um, cook a oily fish because they will, the oil will just come out and it'll just be on the top of anything that you make. So that's the story. I'm sorry for the purists out there that know that it's supposed to be made with the white fish. Just couldn't get any that looked edible or appetizing um, and it's my family were fishmongers so my my grandparents and their parents own fish markets in Hawaii so I can't just arbitrarily grab white fish knowing that it doesn't look very nice or doesn't look very fresh and cook something for you and present it on YouTube so that's the story so don't don't kill me and uh, that's that's what I'm doing and the fish that we're using in Booyah base will be salmon as well because that's what looked good um, so it'll kind of go with the stock so if you get this cookbook and you make the stock you make it with the freshest fish you see in your market and uh, and then use the fish that you think uh, would be good she mentions um, a mixture of snapper, rockfish, lingcod, eel, monkfish, sea bream, or halibut. Um, I did see halibut, but it was frozen. And I couldn't really tell how long it had been frozen. So I just, I, I couldn't do it. So, um, that's the story. Uh, let me show you the ingredients. And then we'll get started. Here's a closer look at the cookbook. We love you, Susan. And the ingredients. We've got butter, natural sea salt. This is actually from Hilo, Hawaii. My dad actually uh, collected this from the seawall um, from Hilo Bay. So it's real sea, sea salt, for real. Black peppercorns, thyme, back down here onions carrots parsley celery bay leaves and then I know the bad stuff it's the salmon bones so we've got our pan on medium heat butter to the pan Butter is melted. You're going to add our onions. 
and carrots. We're just going to stir to coat. Okay, we're going to add our water. I didn't have a pitcher that was big enough for 10 cups, so there you go, 10 cups. And then we're going to add our parsley. This is a whole bunch. Crazy. Thyme, bay leaf, celery leaves, sea salt, peppercorns, push this down a little bit. Our fish bones. And then you just bring this to a boil. I think we're at a boil. And we are. So we're going to go ahead and turn it down to a simmer. Okay, it's simmered for 18 minutes. So we're going to turn off the heat. I'm going to let it cool so that the oils from the salmon will kind of congeal on top and then when I strain it, the oils will get stuck in the filter and we'll have a nice clear broth. Okay, we're going to go ahead and strain the broth, get all this, make it nice and clear. So we've got our coffee filter in the uh, strainer to kind of strain out the particulate. We've gotten to the end of our filtration of our um, stock here. So it's kind of stopped. I mean, I tried to, uh, you know, swish it around, but I think that has all of the cloudy stuff in it. So it's backing up the um, the uh, filter. So I don't know if you can see this. See that sediment right at the end of the uh, spatula? That is what's plug plugging up and would, would make your uh, fish stock cloudy. So basically, we're just going to hang tight and that and there's a lot of oil in here too I don't know if you can see it compared to what's in the bowl and then I have a big pitcher already so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here we've got our beautiful filtered fish stock made from salmon even though we're not supposed to make it from salmon but that's what I did here are the ingredients for the bouillon base. We've got salmon, potatoes, Dutch yellow potatoes, egg, fresh squeezed lemon juice, fire roasted red peppers, whole peeled tomatoes. Recipe calls for fresh, but I'm trying to use these up in my pantry because I have a whole lot of them. Pepper, saffron, sea salt, fresh made fish stock, we got our fennel bulb, and the fronds we'll use as a garnish, we've got garlic, orange, Hotch Valley sweet onions, olive oil, parsley, and a baguette. I'm heating my pan. I'm going to add the olive oil. Hot. So I'm going to add our onion. And our fennel bulb. Fennel, bulb, and onion. 
is cooked up. So now we're going to add up our, or add in our fish stock. Our orange peel. And parsley. We're at a boil. I wish you had smell vision because it smells like fennel and parsley. I'm getting a little bit of that orange zest too. So now we're going to add our potatoes. Our tomato. And then this is a little bit of water with the saffron and uh, the lemon juice. Okay, so we've got a boil. So I'm going to tilt that out and I'm going to lower the heat a bit. until the potatoes are tender. Got our potatoes, they should be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop out these quarters because these are gonna be used for the, uh, what do you call it? Boule. It's kind of like a puree that's going to be put on the toast, or you can put it on the toast. Put our steaks in there. For a little bit. So our fish is ready. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and then I'm gonna keep this covered, keep everything warm. We're gonna start working on the French bread and the roulé. Okay, we're gonna make the roulé. Um, so we got our Red bell, uh, red bell pepper, the fire roasted one. Garlic. Egg yolk. And two tablespoons of oil. And I forgot the potatoes. Back up. <laughs> you already forgot something. It's like it's a little runny. So we've got our potatoes that we had from in the uh, soup. Let's try this again. Chunky. I'm gonna put some olive oil in here again because you need a lot. Oh, that looks beautiful. Kind of like a red pepper hummus. That's what it reminds me of. That looks beautiful. So now we're just going to toast up the bread and we'll be ready to serve. Okay, here's the finished bouillabaisse. We've got our salmon fillets or our salmon steaks. And then we have our roulet. I think that's how you pronounce it. With a toasted French baguette. And then the bouillabaisse all the way over here. 
Okay, hope you enjoyed this look at Bouillou Base from Plot Du Jour by Susan Herman Loomis. I'm going to go buy this book. And then we're going to go eat. So we got two more videos coming up from this cookbook. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Mahalo.